Hey. <coughs> okay. So, it's been a hot minute since I filmed a makeup tutorial. Sorry. <laughs> I have no excuse. So, yeah, today I wanted to do a pink sparkly cut crease because I'm going to a corgi's birthday party and, uh, I need to look cute. So, yeah, let's get started. So first I'm gonna start with a primer. This is Benefit Professional. Yep, a lot of people use it. Probably don't have to explain it. So after you've let that sit for a few minutes, take your foundation. I use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and a beauty blender, Black Like My Soul. And this foundation, oh, and I use it in the color Pearl. And it's um, low-key too dark for me um, because I'm the whitest hoe to ever be a hoe. And... It's not like a huge deal because once I put on my concealer and stuff, it kind of evens everything out and it doesn't look too dark. So I just do two pumps on the back of my hand and take my beauty blender and just, uh, it's really not that change from my last tutorial except instead of a brush I'm using a beauty blender knockoff, um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna skip y'all through this. This foundation is so good, like, by the way. It is full coverage AF, and I love it. And it doesn't get all gross and cakey, and it always lasts me all day, like, all throughout school. So, I recommend it. It's kind of pricey. I bought it with a gift card. So, um, yeah. So, now you want to do your concealer, and I use... The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light 10 mixed with the Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer um, and I just mix them on the back of my hand with like this foundation brush um, and I'll do a higher ratio of the white than the Maybelline one because I am so dang darn diggly dog pale. Um, so yeah, I just take some of the Kat Von D, and then some of- that was a disgusting noise. Some of the Maybelline, Ooh, you can see it. and then I just mix the two together, and pop it right underneath my eyeballs. And I like it because they're both really full coverage, so. And also, um, since it's a little lighter than me, they help highlight as well. So I don't have to go in while I'm contouring and do that. So I just stick it under my eyes, my chin, Cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, and then my forehead right up here and then just blend it in with a beauty blender now it is time to contour and i use the maybelline master contour stick in light i don't actually use the highlighting side because i don't like the formula of it but I use the contour side, so let's just let me pop out my mirror. Yeah, and it's a Hello Kitty mirror. What are you gonna do about it? Okay, I'm totally blocking. LOL, hi. Just draw your line. And then, uh oh. And then I do it below my chin, like right here, down my nose and then across the forehead up there I look great right now 
So then once again, just blend that all in with the beauty blender. Um, you kind of have to work fast with this product because it will dry on you, which has happened to me before. Okay, I fixed the lighting because it looked kind of janky. It's still extremely janky because I have a ton of shadow on this side, but like, I don't have any lights, so you get natural light or you get no makeup tutorials. Next, you do brows, and I use a brow, like pomade guy from a brand called JLB Cosmetics and I've never heard of them before but I was like high key shopping at Ross and in their little makeup section they had a whole brow kit by this brand so I snatched that up real quick and it's actually a really good formula but I don't know where you can like normally buy their stuff so I guess just look it up um so yeah I've done a brow tutorial before, I changed it a little, but like, really all I do now is fill in this part a bit more because I like it messy looking, so I'll just skip y'all through that. So after brows, I set my face, and first under my eyes I use the NYX finishing powder, but the banana, banana powder, <laughs> um, and you know, if I could open it. And I'll just take this guy and pop it like right under my eyes with a fluffy brush just to like you know brighten things up and cancel out the purple um this powder is really great but it smells absolutely terrible just like chemicals in a little plastic container and it's grody. Um, so after I've set my under eyes, I will take um, the Cody Airspun Powder um, in the translucent extra coverage one, so it's a little bit tinted. Um, and this also smells terrible. It smells like an old lady. Um, but I'll just take that and kind of do a really light dusting just kind of all over the place with it um, before I bake with it. Uh, so I just stabbed myself right in the eye. Um, so then I'll take my beauty blender and just get some powder on it and go underneath my eyes with it and um hi i'm put together ah. so underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose and then my laugh lines like right here because they crease the most throughout the day like they're really extra and um so i bake them just to try to they still crease no matter what because i laugh all the time uh, but it's just a little extra like help so they don't crease as bad as they could then I just kind of take like whatever is left on my beauty blender and just kind of hit my t-zone like so so after baking I will prime my eyes with the Kat Von D high voltage eye primer and then I'll also just set that with powder um, to make the shadow easier to blend so to start the eyeshadow I'll be taking the naked one palette and this little angled eyeshadow brush <clears throat> and so for like the crease color itself I'm doing like a neutral just brown I'm not gonna do any like color color with it so the lid is the main focus and so I'm taking um, 
dark horse, which is that guy. And just um, gonna like map out where I want the crease to be at. And I have hooded eyelids, so I usually kind of go a little bit above the crease just so you can still see like both colors, if that makes any sense. So I just take a little bit on my brush and tap off the excess and just kind of draw a rough line of where I want the crease to be. And I'm not doing like a crazy winged out one, I'm just doing a circular uh, cut crease. So I just kind of... And like, don't worry if it gets on your lid because you can clean that up with concealer, which I'm going to do anyways. So, yeah. And just kind of fuzz it out. Just so it's easier to blend when you start actually doing the crease. So now that I have that really roughly mapped out, I'm gonna take my first color, so kind of like my transition shade, and it's gonna be um, naked, still in the naked, all the brown colors I'm using are in the naked one palette. So I'm just gonna take some of that on a fluffy brush and just like, um, put it in as if it were a transition color. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, just kind of blend it out and work it in. All the things you would do with a transition color. Of course, my camera stopped recording. So, you want to blend out your transition color, and then you're going to go in. I went in with Buck from the Naked One palette. All the shadows I'm using are in the Naked One palette. Um, on this little dome elf crease brush um, and I just kind of put it in the same spot I put the transition color just further down so it creates like a fade then after that I went back in with dark horse on the angled brush and just did a little bit back into the crease just like um, lower than the than buck so it creates a nice fade and now what i'm going to do is take the same fluffy brush no more product on it and just kind of work it in to blend out these um colors so now we are going to take a little concealer brush um and then the white concealer or just whatever concealer you have i'm using the white one so it acts as like a better base for the lid shadow and just get a little bit of the concealer onto the brush and basically just paint it all over your lid but draw a nice straight line to redefine that crease um, since we probably got some shadow onto the lid okay so I forgot to mention immediately after you do this so your concealer doesn't transfer onto um, your crease you have to set it with as I was saying before my camera cut off, you have to set your base with the shadow you're using. And I am using um, Virgin by Urban Decay and just with my finger. Now that it, that is all set, <coughs> I will be taking the NYX Roll-On Shimmer in Pink Rose and just kind of like rolling my finger on it because it is a rollerball. And then just like patting it onto the lid and then using a brush when I get closer to the crease just to make it a little more precise. Okay, so here's what it looks like and I have a ton of fallout. So I'm just going to take my um, powder brush and just wipe away that fallout along with my bake. And just swipey that on out of there. Wipe your sins away. Oof. And then just go ahead and like dust off your bake everywhere else too, like your nose and watch not. Yeah. 
and I just went ahead and hit both eyes with some setting spray so the glitter wouldn't transfer onto the top with the Urban Decay All Nighter. And now I'm going to find the lid to this shimmer. Oh no. <laughs> so now I'm going to tight line on the top but not the bottom and then just normally line my eyes which I have a tutorial of on my Instagram so I'm going to skip y'all through this. Okay so once you have on your eyeliner, put on your mascara in preparation for falsies. So now just put on your falsies like you normally would. I'm using the Ardell Lash Grip and the lashes from Benefit in Little Flirt. Okay, so now we're going to bronze, and I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer just around my temples and down my cheekbones. I don't like bronzing down here because it looks weird on me because I'm so pale. It just looks like a foundation line almost, and I'm not here for that look, so. You just want to blend it in, bronze your face. Now we're gonna add blush, and this is the e.l.f. blush and bronzer duo, and I'm gonna be using- I forgot the name, and it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging, but I'm gonna be using the blush shade and just applying some blush with this big fluffy brush. Just- I like to do it more up towards my temples rather than the apples of my cheeks because I have such a square face. It makes it look, um, longer. Now I'm going to highlight with this Ulta Pearl Shimmer Powder, um, and it's a white highlight. If you have a darker complexion, I would not recommend a white. I would recommend a gold or a bronze highlight because whites will pull gray on you and it'll just make you look sick and dead and like a robot. And unless that's the look you're going for, then like by all means do that, but if you're not going for that look, then like opt for a warmer toned highlight. I'm now going to take the Ulta lip liner in the color My Berry because the lipstick I'll be wearing is a really dark berry color and I'm going to be putting some shimmer on that. It's the Tattoo Junkie stuff which you've probably heard a lot about. If not, it's supposedly really good and it's from Walgreens and it was like five bucks I think and it's a liquid lipstick. So we're going to be getting to the goods after I line my lip. So this is the Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint, long lasting smudge proof lip color in Vixen, and it looks like this, um, and then it comes with this little shimmery guy, and basically what you do is you put the liquid lipstick on and let it dry, and then when it's dry, you pat on the shimmer, and it makes it look really cool, so we're gonna see how it works. Um, First impression. This is low key now, like a first impressions video. Oh, fam, that's dark. Ooh, girl. It went on really smooth. It's not streaky or anything. This color is so pretty. Man, like, oh yes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna let that dry and see what happens. Seems to be drying down really quickly, which is nice. Like it's already almost dry, just the center is a little wet still. Whoo! 
Oh, buddy, this is really dark. I love it. Okay, so it's relatively dry at this point. It took like 15 seconds in addition to like when I cut off the clip I was recording of me putting it on. So now we're gonna pat on the glitter. Or the, it's not really glitter, it's more of like a shimmer. Um, I'm just gonna use my finger. Oh my god. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice. I don't know if that reads well on camera, but it's like, it's really pretty. like an iridescent pink and purple this is like gorgeous so here is the finished look I like how it turned out I love this lipstick oh my god like oh yes oh so yeah thanks for watching and my social media will be linked below have a great day. <laughs>